A free energy machine? Hey everybody, welcome to Peace News Now, your daily journal of peaceful resistance. I'm Derek J. Today is Friday, December 6th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $20. One Bitcoin is $920. This episode is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Bitcoin is the greatest invention of the 21st century. Learn how you can use this new currency at WeUseCoins.com. There's no better launching pad to get started. That's WeUseCoins.com. Two Brazilian inventors claim to have invented a free energy device and are now selling this device to the public. The device in English is called the Earth Electron Captor Generator. They're presently only offering the device to people who live in the city of Imperatriz. They're working to license production with several manufacturing firms that will allow for online sales. The rumor mill says that global distributors will come online next month. The device requires a small amount of initial input power to start some kind of sensor rolling, which then produces over-unity power. The device is small, so they advertise that it can be used in vehicular and residential power, as well as an industrial power source. The site claims the input power needed to run is around 2% of its output power. They have several sizes of the generator. The smallest prototype they build is capable of generating 12 kilowatts of power, with a load of 6,000 watts using only 21 watts as input energy. The prototype unit weighs 1.5 kilograms, measuring 20 by 30 by 15 centimeters. The average home needs around 15 kilowatts of power. This product seems real. If it is, this could be better than Bitcoin. The petrodollar could be dethroned by this invention. One of the comments on their videos says the system costs 12,000. I'm not sure if that number's accurate or even what currency it's denominated in. If that's reals, that would be around 5,000. US dollars. The two inventors were just arrested and released on bail while the local power company confiscated the first two devices they installed in homes for, quote, lack of proper certifications. Sales are suspended for now, but it appears they're still in operation. In other news, Detroit doesn't have many intact families, but now one Detroit family is being ripped apart by immigration officials who gave a 40-year-old married mother 24 hours to leave the country. Despite having no criminal convictions, a husband who's lived here for decades, and three U.S.-born children, Seal Prektaj was ordered to report for deportation at Detroit Metro Airport at 10.30 a.m. this Tuesday for a flight back to her native Albania after receiving a letter from authorities Monday telling her to pack her bags. However, in a desperate bid to buy time, she deliberately missed the deadline and is now waiting at her home with her family around her until authorities come to take her to jail, where she'll be held until another flight is organized. Seal came to the U.S. through Canada in 2000, fearing that if she stayed in Albania, she would be kidnapped and sold into prostitution. She immediately turned herself in and sought asylum. While here, she married Pietro Kocevic, who was born in Yugoslavia but moved here 40 years ago, and the couple has three kids, ages 11, 6, and 4, all U.S. citizens. Seal is the sole carer of her elderly mother-in-law, another U.S. citizen whose toes were amputated and needs help eating, walking, and washing. It's estimated that half a million people are living in the U.S. with a deportation order. However, U.S. Immigration's Customs and Enforcement, or ICE, only acts on a portion of cases, and the Obama administration specifically said targeting people with criminal convictions was the priority. Seal has none. In fact, she's a glowing member of her community, described by friends and her children's teachers as a hard-working mother who helps kids with schoolwork and keeping her elderly mother-in-law out of a government-funded home. Seal became concerned about two weeks ago, when at her regular six-month check-in with the deportation department, the agents put a permanent GPS tracker bracelet on her ankle. Now, government agents will come into Seal's home and take her into their custody, a jail. Seal and her children were crying as they hugged by the Christmas tree as they awaited the ICE officers. They will jail her for one to three weeks, however long it takes to organize another flight. Then border guards will drive her to the airport and take off her ankle bracelet like she's a mass murderer or a terrorist going to Guantanamo. Stay tuned to Peace News Now for all the latest updates on the ongoing peaceful evolution. If you enjoyed the show, send us some Bitcoin at donate.peacenewsnow.com.